Uh, actually, the interest come from the, I think, like for the others, from the very beginning, from the childhood. When I was a child, I created some artificial lab on my kindergarten, on the gardens, at the, on the private home. So I like to play this. And from the playing, it's come from the uh, uh, intention to explore the world, to read the books. And I think that step by step, I come to the idea that the, to be a scientist is a good idea, as have a job as good for the, my future work. I believe in this, but of course, when I was at university, uh, another meaning comes like I go, I need to go to this uh, company or to another company. But step by step, I understand that uh, doing the um, the challenge and exploring new things, understanding and the fundamental aspects of the world is uh, more uh, fundamental for me, for my inspiration, and I decided to stay in the science rather than go to the company. Uh, I would like to challenge some disruptive things that is uh, really difficult to understand and even we read this in science fiction that is not existing yet but we can create it by our hand uh, day by day doing the uh, work in our laboratory. We are moving further and further in the future and this really excites me uh, to go to work every day and doing the science what I'm doing now. I would say that every day we have the, some challenges. Challenges in doing the experimental, doing the reliable experimental work, because if it's not reliable, we have to repeat it many times. At least it will be good for us and good for our colleagues. So uh, challenge in writing the papers, change, challenge in writing the proposals. I would say it's every day some kind of the small challenges or big challenges. And I couldn't say like I have these challenges for every, uh, uh, forever and ever. And uh, this is nothing special. But yes, I had some with the the very uh, tough experiment part. But I think this is essential. This this is good for for our work. From the side, maybe just a bureaucracy. I mean, sometimes it's uh, very, uh, let's say, mind. Uh, mind fuel uh, or uh, time mining that uh, we have to do a lot of the bureaucracy stuff instead of doing like experimental work or work with the, our colleagues but I think this is also we couldn't avoid this work and we have to do it uh, much like, like as fast as possible. The life is changing very, very fast nowadays and nobody could expect what is going to be in one year, two years. So for us, it's also difficult for the scientists. I hope I will be still in the science. I hope I, I can do my work and what I really like to do. But uh, for 10 years, it's really big prospects uh, from nowadays. But I hope that everything will be <laughs> good for, for all the humanity, not for us, but for us, for the scientists, we hope to stay in a good condition, with the good equipment, with the good uh, writing and the good output from the science point of view. I think do not hesitate to uh, uh, do a very disruptive, very crazy things, even in the mind, just like uh, think about this, trying to implement in the in the real world. Because if the more crazy things you think about, the more probability you could create because you have the intention to do this. Otherwise, if people will not think about a very big uh, deal to, to create or very dramatic challenges, uh, the world will not be moved further. That's, that's the idea. In the beginning, I think no, but of course at the university people maybe uh, need to dig uh, more into the uh, fundamental aspects of the physics, biology, science, uh, chemistry or whatever they want to do. But uh, I think that people, if they like science, they will do the science. So, I mean, if they don't like go, go to, just prefer to go to the company or another place, no problem.